Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Fourth Bell 525 flight test vehicle takes flight. Introducing the new Kodiak 100 Series 2. And USGS UAS involved in rescue mission in Kilauea Volcanoes Lower East Rift Zone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's June 4th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. A fourth Bell 525 flight test vehicle has joined the test flight program, with a fifth expected to be flying later this year. The Bell 525 is the world's first fly-by-wire commercial helicopter and is designed to operate safely and reliably in austere environments, with decreased pilot workload. The aircraft features the first fully integrated touchscreen avionics suite designed for helicopters. This is another significant milestone for the Bell 525 program and a testament to the hard work being completed at our Flight Research Center. We are focused on certification and delivering the most technologically advanced helicopter to market, said Byron Ward, Vice President of Bell 525 program. The company anticipates that the Relentless will achieve FAA certification sometime this year. The Bell 525 specifications include a flight crew speed at max continuous power and max gross weight of 155 plus knots to airspeed, a range of 500 nautical miles, and a useful load of 7,400 plus pounds. The maximum gross weight for the Relentless is 19,300 pounds. The Bell 525 Relentless can also perform Cat A takeoffs and landings to and from a helipad at maximum gross weight on a hot day. After the break, Gulfstream G650ER completes record breaking polar flight. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The ultra-long-range G650ER has again proven its unmatched performance capabilities, adding yet another city pair speed record, this time during a flight over the North Pole. The G650ER departed White Plains, New York at 1.30 p.m. May 12th and arrived in Shanghai at 3.10 p.m. local time May 13th, flown at an average speed at Mach 0.86. The 6,870 nautical mile flight took just 13 hours and 40 minutes. NADA has announced an initiative to combat a legal charter, addressing a growing concern among members and the industry. The announcement follows several months of collaboration with its membership and air charter committee, and meetings with the FAA to highlight the necessary steps to strengthen the association's effort to protect this vital industry. NADA's initiative to combat a legal charter is overseen by a subcommittee of its Air Charter Committee, called the NADA Illegal Charter Task Force. Twin Commander Aircraft has a new leader. Alan Goad, an experienced executive in aerospace defense, service, and industrial markets, has been named president of Twin Commander Aircraft, LLC. Allen replaces Matt Isley, who after 10 years at the helm has taken an executive position with another company, 
but still remains within the twin commander family. Goat has more than 20 years of experience leading complex businesses for high-profile public and private organizations. Oshkosh 2018 is but seven weeks away, and as usual, ANN is planning to raise the bar greater than ever before. We have some major surprises in store for you, along with our usual array of intense programming. The 2018 Air Venture Innovation Preview is underway. We'll be announcing two new weekly airborne programs and Jim Campbell's latest book. Plus, we've got a small sneak peek at the next generation of special event programming, about which we're sworn to secrecy until we get a little closer to the big week. More info to follow. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Quest Aircraft has introduced the Kodiak 100 Series 2, which the plane maker says is a culmination of a decade of continuous year-by-year -year improvements with a plethora of new features. The result is an increasingly safe, simple, efficient, and reliable aircraft designed and built for the 21st century. The company says the aircraft has a smarter, pilot-friendly cockpit, improved situational awareness and safety, and more comfort for all passengers. In the cockpit, Quest added two new glove boxes for additional cockpit storage and improved rose and sun visors for better UV protection and ergonomics and incorporated Limo plugs for hardwired Bose headsets. The cargo doorstep has been redesigned to reduce weight and improve functionality and fuselage seals have been enhanced to provide even better soundproofing and cabin ventilation. Additionally, a single-point refueling station is now available as an option. The Series 2 is equipped with Garmin's G1000 NXI avionics suite. The aircraft is ADS-B-ready and includes an angle of attack indexer. Among the available options are an external cargo pod, and the Series 2 can be equipped with floats. After these messages, USGS UAS involved in rescue mission. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. On May 27, 2018, the Department of Interior UAS Kilauea Response Team was conducting mapping missions to monitor lava flow. Around 7 p.m., the team launched a UAV to assess the northeast corner of Leilani Estates and identified a new outbreak of lava that was very rapidly moving towards a residential area. The team began providing live video of the flow's progress to emergency officials, who dispatched police and fire units to clear residents off the street. The UAS team continued to provide live coverage of the breakout, and during pre-flight of that aircraft, the team overheard radio transmissions that there was a civilian trapped at their residence on Luana Street. The team confirmed the location of the residence and flew into the area to assess. The individual was spotted and instructed to follow the drone to safety. The individual began moving through the jungle toward the drone. While he was making his way, the UAS team was able to track him visually. After about 10 minutes of providing direction information to both the stranded person and the first responders, the search team was able to make contact and guide him to safety. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.